welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a anti-haul slash will I buy. Um, the anti-haul part, of course I got inspiration from Kimberly Clark. I will have her listed down below. I absolutely loved her anti-hauls. And then the will I buy part I got from Samantha March. She does hers every Wednesday. And I just really sometimes like to combine them both because there are always new releases coming out. Some of them are definitely for an anti-haul. Some of them are definitely for a will I buy because I definitely have my eyes on these products. Um, so this is my version. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first item on the list is going to be from ColourPop. They are coming out with the new Festival Essentials. Um, this is <clears throat> going to be 24 new pressed powder eyeshadows for $4 each or $5 in a compact. Um, they're also coming out with 14 new ultra satin lips, which I absolutely love their satin lip formula. It's extremely comfortable. Um, and those are going to be $6.50 a piece. This is going to be available April 6th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, now, I am more of an eyeshadow palette person versus I am eyeshadow singles. I don't really have a lot of singles. The ones that I do <laughs> actually are from ColourPop. They are a couple of the super, so super, super shock shadows <laughs> um, that I got that they released not too long ago. I do like these, but I don't necessarily pull for them as much as I wish I would. Um, I mostly just gravitate towards my palettes. Um, so that is something that I'm definitely not looking into. The colors seem to be very pretty, um, but I'm definitely going to be passing on those. The satin lips, <clears throat> I do like their satin lipsticks, but my lipstick collection actually has grown quite a bit. So. I am not going to be purchasing anything from this collection, um, especially as of right now. So I'd like to know what you guys think. Are you guys interested in any of this collection? Or do you do single eyeshadows? Um, have you tried their satin lipsticks before? Because if you haven't, I really think that you should. Um, I highly, highly suggest them. They are so comfortable. Loved it. All right, so Morphe is coming out with new blush palettes. There looks to be like, what? oh my gosh. There looks to be like seven of them. Um, they are $12 each. They look very, very pretty. But my only thing is, is they remind me of my Anastasia Beverly Hills blush palette, um, which I have right here. And the colors look very, very similar to these palettes. So I don't know if they would be a dupe for these shadows if you guys would like to see a comparison to maybe one of the shade ranges that are closest to this and see how much of a dupe it is um, then leave a comment down below and I will most definitely try and do that for you guys but since I already have this um, unless you guys are really wanting me to check that out I'm not gonna be purchasing these they also have blush palettes um, with I believe eight different shades and those are gonna be $20 each. So like I said, if you wanna see if there is a dupe available, just let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so the next item has definitely caught my eye and I have been back and forth so much. I want it, but do I need it? I don't think I do. But that's the kind of battle that I'm having with this next collection. It is the new KKW and Mario collection. I love Mario. He is an inspiration to me. His makeup is absolutely perfection and I could only hope to achieve his level. Um, but this palette just, ah, it, something about it is just driving me crazy. I know that blue, you know, I automatically want to think about that that peach palette that Kylie did, but they have done side-by-side -side comparisons and they are different. <sighs> like I said, I just don't think I need it, but it is an eyeshadow palette. Um, there are, let's see, there are 10 eyeshadows. The price is $45. They're also coming out with a cream lipstick for $20 and two lip glosses for $18 each. The collection will be online um, on April 5th on kkwbeauty.com. So I really wanna know what you guys think of this. Is this something that you would gravitate towards? Is this something that you'd be like kind of passing on? 
my heart is torn. I really don't know if I'm going to be purchasing this. I'm going to have to kind of leave this in like a maybe pile. Um, cause like I said, I want it. I just don't think I need it. And there's other collections that are going to be coming out. Oh my gosh. That I want like bad, like bad, bad. Um, so I think that's going to be another reason why I might pass over this so I can save for the other collection. Um, so we'll see. I just, I really want to know what you guys think about this. All right, so moving on, Fenty Beauty is coming out with, I do believe, three new products. Um, she is coming out with a fairy bomb. Um, she is coming out with body lava and a kabuki brush. So the body lava is coming out in two different shades. Um, it doesn't say on this page how much it's going to be. The Kabuki brush is $34, and the Fairy Bomb is a pom-pom packed with shimmer inside for $42. That doesn't sound... <laughs> that sounds very messy. A pom-pom packed with shimmer. That sounds very, very messy. So every time that you would press it, anywhere shimmer would just go everywhere that's that's the kind of mess that I'm seeing um, so I'm definitely gonna be passing on all this now, I'm not interested in the Bonnie luminizer um, I don't need to highlight my body for sure um, the pom-pom like I said it's going to be very messy in my mind and I don't need a kabuki brush I don't use them so I will be passing over this whole collection Mac and Patrick star are doing a, another collab which is absolutely amazing I saw the kind of like intro video to this and the video oh my gosh they just put together so amazingly so it looks like there are two different eyeshadow palettes looks like there's um, a blush maybe highlighter duo can't really see off of this screen that I off of the picture that I have um, it definitely looks like there is a lipstick but nothing is calling out to me in this the packaging um, I'm not really a big fan of the packaging and I'm not a big fan of the colors this time around. Um, I think the other collection was very well done as far as as far as appearance goes but nothing really draws me in about this collection so I'm definitely going to be passing over everything here. Plus MAC is really really expensive so it's going to have to be something that just draws me right in and this is not doing it. All right guys, so on the next one, I am so excited to say that Sephora is coming out with a new lip kit. It is their Sephora favorites, give me some nude lip. Um, it is going to be available, it was supposed to be already be available, but I think they're redoing it to like the fifth or the sixth. Um, if I find out that information for sure, I will definitely have it linked down below. Um, but in this case, you get a Grand Cosmetics, Urban Decay, Kat Von D, Tarte Cosmetics, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Bite Beauty lipsticks. I love these kits. I think they are a great way to try out new lipsticks. Number one, if you haven't tried the brand, and number two, if you haven't tried the shades in the brand. Um, I always do a review on these, so I definitely will be picking this up and letting you guys know what I think of this new Sephora favorites. Um, they are also coming out with a new Lash Dash to go. Uh, it looks to have the It Cosmetics Superhero, which I quite enjoy, that mascara. Um, the Big Monsieur Mascara, or however you say it, from Lancome, I quite enjoyed that. Um, it looks like a Bobbi Brown. Um, Too Faced, Better Than Sex, Waterproof Mascara, and I cannot tell what that last one is. I think it's Urban Decay, but I'm not really sure. Now with the... Um, Lash Dash to go. You can try out each of the mascaras that come in the set and then it does come with a coupon for you to get a full size and the one that you prefer out of the box itself for free. You do have to redeem the coupon in stores but I mean come on you get to try out all these mascaras and then you at the end of that, you still get a full-size free mascara. I think that is an excellent deal, especially for $28, when half of these mascaras are like $22 at the bare, at the bare minimum. So um, those are really, really great deals. All right, guys, this next one I am so excited about. I have been really needing a palette just full of colors. I mean, I know I have my Kat Von D Metal Mattes palette, but sometimes I just need variety. <laughs> but
But the collection that I am so excited about is from BH Cosmetics. I have never purchased from them before, so I'm super, super excited to try something that I am so interested in, and it is their Festival Palette, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at these colors. Oh, oh my gosh. So the palette is only $18, which is an awesome price. They're also gonna be coming out with a brush set which is a 10 piece brush set for $24. Now I have, heard good, I have heard good things about their brushes, so I'm definitely gonna be picking this up as well. And I'm just super, super stoked to be able to try out this brand. Um, everything is calling to me out of this collection and I'm just so, so excited about it. It's gonna be available April 6th on their website and you guys know automatically that I'm gonna be redoing a re full review on the brushes, on the eyeshadow palette. And I do think they have lipsticks coming out too, so I might pick up at least one lipstick just so I can do kind of like a full review for you guys. So um, is this something that you guys are interested in? Because I am so excited for this. Just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. All right, and last, I do wanna give you guys a little bit of information. They did post the dates online today for the Sephora VIB sale for spring. Spring, you do get the 15% off if you are a VIB or Rouge member. You get 10% off if you are a insider. The first week will be April 13th through April 16th for Rouge members only. That's going to be the 15% off. And then there's going to be a second weekend um, for everybody else, for Rouge, for VIB and for insiders and that's going to be um april 20th through the 23rd so rouge gets to shop twice and then vib and insider gets to shop for one weekend um everybody knows that this is just a great time to go ahead and pick up the essentials that you want something that you've been really having your eye on i know i am definitely going to be picking up some new brush cleaner um, but I will have a list for you guys and a video for you guys of some recommendations um, for during this sales. So that is it for this video. I would love to hear your thoughts. Is there anything in this video that you are definitely going to be picking up and that you're interested in? Um, is there anything that I did not mention in this video that you are interested in? Um, I would, I just love to hear from you guys. So that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.